Alhamdulillah. Our intention is for Allah, inshaAllah. We came here for the praise of Allah. First thing is you have to correct the target. Destination, GPS. Why we do what we do? For what reason? Whether they say Shah Allah is now standing, say Shah Muhammad Nazim Ahad al Hamkani, say Shah Muhammad Adar Rabbani. If our destination is wrong, correction, if you want to go to uh, Montreal and you put uh, destination going west towards Detroit or wherever you like. You're going to get somewhere, but it might not be where you want to end up. And this is why it's important to have the correct aqidah, our beliefs, especially in the time of fitna that we live in, in the time of tremendous darkness, dhulumat, never ending this chunks of darkness prophet described this time it is like a, a whole chunk of darkness covering a person's perceptions especially in the in the age of heedlessness where people are too scattered to reflect and maybe not they don't have time maybe to even take a breath to have that tafakkur uh, to sit and reflect upon one state or to have muhasaba to sit and actually account for what we've done during the day we don't have time for that nowadays and so the days go by quick the months go by quick years go by quick we have now end of the year 2021 and we were talking on the way here in the car about what's happening with the world and the, the situation we're in is difficult because of there's disease and there's suffering and there's fear and there's hysteria and there's all kinds of that affects not only one's physical being, but also the spiritual, our spiritual being. It affects even our beliefs in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because what does it say about us if we fear something that it even يعني, clouds our, our fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear it so much that it covers that as well that we, we are willing to do whatever. So this is, this is the end of times that Prophet Sallallahu described in many things. And many, they said, many of the companions said that Prophet Sallallahu didn't leave anything from the signs of the last days that are coming. So when we are in this difficult times, you have to look for, the only way is to have the right compass. The only way to make it out of the thickness of this darkness is if you have a, a guide, a light. If you have a, a means to find out where you are and where your destination lies. That is something that, unfortunately, nowadays is, is not uh, easy to find for most people. So we go left, we go right, we do this, we do that. We hear a piece of news makes us go one way. We hear another piece of news that makes us go backwards and so forth. But if you want to look for, uh, for positive things out of this whole Corona thing is that 
one thing that it has done is that people are thinking about their mortality much more than they used to think about two years ago. People are thinking, reminded daily that of their fra fragile existence and the possibility that they may not be in this world for too long. And this is actually something that Prophet ﷺ said is a, is a practice. Tafakkur, to think about one's, about one's life, about how temporary it is, about uh, how quick it can go and end up in Akhirah. So this is one positive aspect of this whole thing is that it may be driving people to be a little bit more reflective and spiritual than they normally would. It's an unfortunate circumstance to do that, but that's, that's what happens. Our nafs, one of the practices to rein in the ego is tafakkur in death, is to think about one's life and how short it is. Because if anything scares the ego into acting, our nafs is, is fear of death. So when we think that we are here for a short period of time, there are especially people who believe in Akhirah, people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it puts a little bit of fire to do more to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do more good actions. But inshallah we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lift this affliction. Most, most also, not just lift the, the physical afflictions, and diseases, but also lift the spiritual diseases that are prevalent. The spiritual coronaviruses in the hearts that are making us blind to a certain future, that are making us heedless to our priority in terms of our priorities, what we should do and what we shouldn't do. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us uh, whatever circumstance Allah is putting you in, inshallah we use it to remind ourselves that as Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this world is not real life. Akhirah is the hayawan, is the real life. This is a temporary point. This is just something you use to know your Lord, to serve your Lord, to make your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, happy with you. That's it. That's the purpose of this existence. Verily, I have only created human beings and jinn for my worship. And in order to worship him, you have to know him. So our purpose is knowing Allah, worshiping Allah, being true servants to Allah, obeying Allah. That's that, that's the, that's the that's our mission. And anything that takes us away from that purpose is something to leave. And anything to brings us brings us close to that purpose is something to embrace. And you, that that goes across the board. If you know somebody that reminds you of Allah that reminds you of your akhirah, then hold on to these people. If you know people that pull you towards dunya, then maybe less time. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us on this holy Friday. We have uh, with uh, Sheikh, uh, our brother, Sidi uh, Ali Shah, his uh, mother passed away. He's in the UK today. I think they buried her today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on her. Her name is Qamar Shah. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her highest paradise and grant us and all anyone who has someone who's passed away or grant them also to be accepted in Allah's endless mercy oceans. And anyone who is sick or going through a difficulty, may Allah lift 
that sickness and difficulty. There's also another sister that messaged us. She said that her mother also passed away. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Radiya Kabir, I think her name. The lady who passed away. It's the mother of Sister Radiya Kabir. Uh, she passed away and she's asking everyone to make dua for her and read uh, Ikhlas and Yaseen for her. She didn't mention her name. Inshallah, our intention, uh, my mom, Mam Taj Kabir, Mam Taj Kabir, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept her also in his endless mercy oceans. Inshallah, we dedicate, the, we offer also the benefits of this dhikr for those our brothers, the, the two sisters that were mentioned, and, and anyone from Ummah Muhammad sallallahu who, who is uh, passing away and in difficulty, inshallah. And with that, inshallah, we will start Hurmat al-Habib, Hurmat al-Fatiha. <laughs>